time of the year. <laughs> Good morning, Cardinals fans. I'm feeling chipper today and a happy home opener to you. In just a few hours, baseball will take its rightful place as Bush Stadium welcomes back the St. Louis Cardinals. But before that, we really do need to talk about last night because it was pretty incredible. The 6-0 Cardinals shutout to clinch the series win over the Brewers had just about everything. It had the top of the order doing work. I'm telling you, Fowler fam Carpenter Ozuna is going to be a lot of fun to watch. It had Yachty doing Yachty things, blasting home runs like he's some sort of 25-year-old power slugger. I'm telling you, the man does not age, or he's a robot. Maybe some combination of both. <laughs> and hey, even Colton Wong got the hit monster off his back, so now maybe he can just relax and play a little bit. And there was even a pretty nifty double play started by none other than Bud Norris to end the game. Oh, and there was also, um, Carlos Ernesto Martinez. Sorry for the bad accent. I took four years of Spanish, but you'd never know that. I just wanted to emphasize, holy Carlos Martinez, Batman. Also, yes, I'm pretty sure his middle name is, in fact, Ernesto, which is really hard to say without an accent, even if it's a bad one. Not the point. Carlos threw some of the nastiest pitches I think I've ever seen in my life, and everything was working. The slider was good, the sinker was on point, and that changeup, though, I mean, mind boggling. I think he even dropped in a curveball or two just for funsies. At one point, Martinez sat down 16 Brewers in a row. He was that good. And while a defensive miscue cost him the chance at a complete game shutout, Honestly, I don't even care. I mean, this is the Carlos Martinez we're all here to see. This is the Carlos Martinez we crave every five days. This is the Carlos Martinez that can and should be the ace of the staff. And also, this is the Carlos Martinez that makes everyone who doubts him look real foolish sometimes. And I kind of love it. You know, if he could just find a way to bottle up whatever it was that he did yesterday that worked, and then just, like take a dose of it before every step. No, you know, would that be considered a performance enhancing drug? Because if so, scrap that idea. Just write down everything you did yesterday, Carlos, and then do it all again in five days. How's that sound? Look, is he inconsistent? Yeah. Is he worth waiting for while he figures it out? Did you see the change up to Lorenzo Cain? Yeah, I'll take more of that, please. And what a way to carry a little extra buzz into the home opener, right? Coming off yet another happy flight, a series win, that momentum from Carlos Martinez, and the Cardinals are gonna need it. The Arizona Diamondbacks are legit. Opening day in St. Louis is always special, but can I be honest with you for a minute? I was a little disappointed to see how many people were so angry that Adam Wainwright ended up getting the start on opening day in St. Louis. I realize most of the angst was more about Jack Flaherty being sent down than Wayno getting the start, but I mean, this is Adam Wainwright. Did you really think that he wasn't gonna get every opportunity that was possible to give him the chance for one last home opener start? I guess what really gets me, and this is totally just me, but what bugs me is that there's this idea going around that there's something inherently bad about allowing sentimentality into baseball. Now, before you bail on me for not being hard-nosed enough, just hear me out. There's this thing that baseball does. It allows us to forget the rest of the world exists for a couple of hours. It creates this weird place in our minds where the results of a child's game seem to matter more than anything. And it gives us these superhero-like characters to root for when they win or when they lose. And you want to tell me there's no sentimentality there? Adam Wainwright has been a rock for this team for over a decade. And quite honestly, like 99% of what happens in St. Louis on opening day is all about the feels and not so much about the field. See what I did there? But it's all about honoring this legacy, this thing that is larger than life in St. Louis. And it's a legacy that Adam Wainwright is very much a part of. Does that mean that I want, like, crippled old Grandpa Wayno out there lobbing softballs to Paul Goldschmidt? No, but I think we're a little ways away from that happening. 
Don't get me wrong, I understand that every win counts. Whether it's in April or in August, whether it's a Carlos Martinez complete game shutout or a 12 to 11 good old fashioned American League game in the middle of July. And there's certainly an argument to be made for Flaherty at this point in his career maybe being a better obvious choice to give the team a chance to win than Adam Wainwright. Guys, Adam Wainwright is still very much a part of this team. And the Cardinals still very much need to figure out what Adam Wainwright can realistically do. I read yesterday that Adam Wainwright said he's going to pitch every game this season as if it was his last. Now, if the Cardinals can figure out what he has to offer and do that while giving Adam Wainwright one last chance for a home opener in front of the city that he's romanced for years, I'm totally okay with that. I'm also a little terrified, but hey, gotta live a little, right?